I recently finished Lisa Bardot's Kickstart Your Creativity course through Skillshare. I made 20 projects, learned Procreate has blend modes, fucked up my color selection by accidentally switching from RGB to CMYK, did a little animating, and sort of forgot everything after I'd done it. It's kind of like the ghost I'm trying to crochet. I have watched this video nine times and I still couldn't tell you what a half double crochet is. Ultimately, my goal was to start sucking less at digital art, especially using Procreate. It's an affordable app that's, at least to me, way more user-friendly than Photoshop and way more affordable. And this is coming from a girl who took an Adobe class in college. If I'd thought about it, I'd have screen recorded my drawing process for these little guys instead of using Procreate's replay feature. What you can't see is my photo reference. Earlier Sunday, I'd gone to Target to grab a few things and decided I needed a dopamine purchase. I saw these little plants and that's that. Yes, I technically bought things that I don't need, but plants are cute and they're colorful and they give me something to do that requires minimal effort and brain power. Plus, I've managed to keep like three succulents alive for four years simply because they thrive on neglect. So what's two more plants in the mix? Turns out when you open Procreate, you can take your reference and open it beside the Procreate window, thus making a split screen, which I had no idea I could do. Procreate does have an in-app reference function, but I hate how small it is, how hard it is to zoom in, and I hate having to move the box around. I started this piece with a basic sketch on my first layer and built on that with a more refined sketch on a separate layer. I used the 6B pencil located in the sketching set and then switched to the studio pen. I colored a large portion of the leaves before realizing I was on the wrong layer and I just started over. For the sketchier outlines, I used the Inca brush and I focused on keeping everything loose. One of the toughest things about digital art for me is figuring out my style. I guess in theory it should be similar. I know one of the reasons I wanted a tablet was for the ability to draw on the screen. I've previously had a little Wacom guy and not looking at my hand while drawing made things so much harder. I didn't use any fancy skills. I made an overlay on one layer, used a few clipping masks on the leaves, used multiply to create some of the shadows, and at one point I put the overlay on the wrong layer and it changed the whole color scheme of the leaves. I really just wanted to change the line art, but hey, happy accidents, right? I changed the background color, added some highlights using that same Inca brush, and using a dot brush I purchased from Lisa Bardot back in 2020 when I had convinced myself I was going to learn digital art the first time. Once I was done with the piece, I duplicated the project, smushed all the layers together by pinching them, and decided I wanted to make it move. Layers are apparently my biggest weakness because, again, I forgot to make sure that I was working on the correct one, but I ended up getting some of the leaves to wiggle, and then I wanted stars. The first version wiggles like the leaves do, and the second version is more of a twinkle. I think I like the twinkle way better, but just the fact that I made something to mimic animation is so cool. Cool. After this course, I'm way more comfortable using Procreate and branching out beyond the smudge tool, which ironically is the only tool in Photoshop I ever really got the hang of. I'm really proud of my progress and I love this piece a lot. Lately, I've been feeling down about my art and the genuine joy I felt making this was so welcome. There are a few tweaks I want to make, including changing the background color to a lighter orange, but this turned out so cute and I absolutely love it. Do I still suck at Procreate? Yeah, a little bit, but we are making vast improvements and I'm looking forward to practicing more digital art. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Have a great rest of your day. Go be spooky and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.